In questions, a $25 million bill sent to the city of Jackson to fund construction projects dating back to 2017. The bill calls for the city to pay back money from the 1% sales tax commission. 12 News' is Deidre Briscoe met with Councilman Kenneth Stokes, who says this request is wrong. She joins us live from City Hall. Deidre? Neighbors in Jackson know that structural issues within the city from road repairs to sewage problems are nothing new. But $20 million worth, Councilman Kenneth Stokes says that amount of money the city council would have known about. The councilman says that there is no debt because there was no vote. The city of Jackson received a letter dated from August that requires the city to pay $25 million in loans for repairs by September 30th. The councilman says they've only just received the letter. It's a bogus letter because if there's no contract, there's no debt. If there's no contract, then there's no debt. And also, if there was not a vote, no vote by the city council, then there's no debt. He says he reached out to the legal department and the mayor's office regarding the validity of the letter. The councilman plans to take legal action against the 1% commission for the unlawful demand. If we had $20 million, we need to repay some streets. The sewer system in this city is awful. Raw sewage and the smell of boo-boo city-wide. If we had $20 million, then we need to repair the sewer system in this city. The councilman says if this is true, then this is a violation of the people of this city and the city council. I think that the city is disrespecting the community as a whole. If you're going to spend $20 million, uh, some say through the back door, and the citizens of this city nor the city council has knowledge of it, it's absolutely wrong. We reached out. We reached out to the mayor's office and the 1% sales tax commission. We have yet to hear back. To stay up to date with the conclusion of this story, follow us on WJTV.com. Reporting in Jackson, Deidre Briscoe, 12 News.